Elkhart County 4-H Fair kicks off this Friday, and you may notice some changes out there. WSBT's Zach Crenshaw shows us the new additions. 2014 was the year that we uh, decided to tackle a few projects. And right away, fairgoers will see the differences. In addition to a new bike path connecting the fair to Goshen, parking has also changed. It'll seem like maybe you missed the turn, but don't worry, you haven't missed the turn. Uh, keep on going, and we put a new entrance out there called Gate 7. Although parking is farther down the street, the fair has designed a new tram path to make getting in more convenient. It will speed things up. All you have to do is park your car, make your way over, get on the tram, and we'll get you here. Increased safety is another priority. The fair has put in two new emergency sirens that double as a PA system, and they believe the 360-degree speakers are worth the investment. About $50,000 plus, but we felt it was necessary for our for our guests and stuff, for lo the local area too. The local people that live close will be able to hear them and get that warning also. But one of the biggest renovations to the fair is the grandstand seating. They got rid of the wood and put in aluminum bleachers, adding 1,000 seats and 20 handicap spots. It's about 6,000 people that we can house in the main grandstand. Then we always have track seating. As usual, grandstand seating is free on a first-come, first-served basis. And there are five different concerts over the course of the week. Zach Crenshaw, WSBT, Channel 22 News. Now, there has also been some smaller additions. The fair added two bathroom stations, a new rotary path, and, of course, new food. Listen to this, fried Gatorade. Wow. <laughs>